all right so finally the google play emulator is released in the stable version so it's not any beta or in the testing version so you can enjoy the google play store games on your windows pc or laptop flawlessly without any kind of advertisement or any kind of problem so today in this video guys i will be showing you that how you can download install and enjoy the google play games on your windows 10 or windows 11 and keep in mind this is only for the games and not for the application okay so bring up any of your browser and you will have to search for google play games and you will be getting this first website here google play games now on pc you will have to click on it and you will see this kind of website it says with google play game on pc play pc game and mobile game that are available on ios and android and if you want to read more about it like about the features you can read here about the system requirement that is very low at least windows 10 is required ssd with 10 gigabyte of available storage integrated uhd graphic driver processor like 4 cpu physical core 8 gigabyte of ram all right so click on download and very quickly the file will be downloaded then click on the downloaded file and the setup page will be up now here before installing make sure that the virtualization has been enabled on your pc or your laptop and in order to check right click on the taskbar click task manager from the left hand side you will have to click on performance then you will have to click on cpu and then on the right hand corner you will find the virtualization option and on my end you can see it's been enabled so once it's been enabled you will have no problem but if it's been disabled probably you won't be able to enjoy the google play or any other kind of emulator so if you find this virtualization disabled then you will have to enable it from the bios and which is very simple to enable you can visit the bios of your pc or your laptop and somewhere you will find the virtualization option on the intel mid-level processor you will find in the system configuration by the name virtualization technology you will have to look for it uh, then you have to make sure that it's been enabled if it's been disabled then uh, hit the enter key and from the drop down choose enable and if you have the asus motherboard probably you will find in the advanced section somewhere by the name svm mode all right so look for this option and once you have enabled the virtualization now you can save the changes come to your desktop again and this time you will find the virtualization being enabled over here all right so once you have enabled now you can proceed with the installation then you will have to click on install click on yes and then the downloading and installation of the google play game will be started and after the installation the very first time when you bring up the google play game it will ask you to log in with the gmail id the google id to so use any of your google account or gmail id in order to log into the play store once logged in you will be getting this kind of dashboard and in the home section it will list you all kind of popular uh, games over here that you can pick then you get the library option that will show your favorite or the installed game then you have the search option where you can explore the games according to the star rating according to the categories and as i said in the beginning that you won't be getting any kind of applications uh, even there is no option of no menu of the application here then you have the download that basically show all kind of downloading all right so nothing much here to do simply you can uh, browse for your favorite game you can download and install it in order to enjoy the game now for example i have already downloaded the free fire here and even the asphalt game so i will show you that how exactly to work so if i bring up the free fire let me go ahead and play it and it says to see the control you will have to use the alt plus tab key take down and in order to manage the settings what you will have to do you will have to press shift plus tab and it will bring up the game options where you can manage the volume you can manage the visual settings in case if you face any kind of lagging stuttering in the screen resolution of 1920 into 180 you can try to reduce it and try to play on 1280 into 720 
then you have the mouse pointer then you have the maximum fps where you can reduce or uh, increase or decrease it now part of this in the other game you also get the easy method to navigate so you can easily adjust the key mapping without any kind of problem so that basically it's very easy on the other games like asphalt or any simple android game and even after testing multiple games like free fire and the asphalt and agony bird i did not had any kind of problem i did not felt any kind of lag stutter or everything was working smoothly without any kind of problem and that basically is the stable version now that you can use in order to continue enjoying gaming on your windows pc and laptop so that's all guys for today and hopefully you will found this information useful uh, you can better enjoy this android play game now and if this video helped you please make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye